Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report for a look at the FCC's plan to toughen up the Telephone Consumer Protection Act. That's the act that Jim Medic spoke to us about yesterday. And then eMarketer shares perspectives on people's multi-screen usage trends. We're sponsored today and this week by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help their clients quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance, a decision analyst company. Yesterday, you heard Precision Opinion President Jim Medic explain the broad threat that is being posed by TCPA, a law that dates back to 1991. Jim, of course, also had some very serious cautionary warnings about the legal profession and what he called ambulance chasers laying in wait for you to call the wrong cell phone. Well, the situation that Jim described might actually be about to get a lot worse. FCC Chairman Thomas Wheeler has announced that on June 18th, that body will vote on new regulations. And MRA Director of Government Affairs Howard Feinberg is putting out the alarm, saying that these new regulations could block most research telephone calls, make research compliance with government regulations more complicated, and even invite more class action suits against researchers. Wheeler says he's going to propose that the FCC first greenlight robocalling blocking technology for consumer phones. Next, broaden the definition of an auto dialer to include, quote, any technology with the potential to dial random or sequential numbers, end of quote. Third, write into the law a specific requirement for express prior consent for an auto dialer to call a cell phone. Four, penalize callers to cell phones whose phone numbers have been reassigned to new users. And five, potentially extend the telemarketing opt-out rules to non-telemarketing calls that just happen to use auto dialers. It's too bad that the dysfunctional federal government that we've all become so accustomed to in the last decade or decade and a half in this case looks like it's humming. Next, with all the attention it's being paid to multiple devices that consumers switch to like sips of water during the course of a day, I think it's easy to stop there and to not venture deeper into the forest where you could peer at the bigger picture that's really facing marketers. But an e-marketer study called Multi-Screen Usage Roundup does a lot of that. And it begins by stating that devices, though they take center stage at the budgetary and tactical level, strategically have marketers less focused on devices and more specifically connecting with consumers wherever and wherever they can access the web. In fact, AOL Global Director of Mobile Chad Gallagher is quoted as saying, both brand and performance advertisers don't necessarily care about the device, but about driving results against people. And he added that marketers are thinking more holistically about the customer experience they deliver across multiple screens as opposed to focusing on each device and channel as a solo. E-Marketer shared a few other observations about other th goings on in this field. For instance, advertisers are continuing to trust TV despite its limitations and also in spite of a proliferation of digital alternatives. Second, inexpensive smartphones are opening new opportunities for marketing and commerce in emerging markets where many consumers previously had no access to the internet. At the same time, in mature established markets, smartphones are quickly shifting the paradigm for consumer media usage and impressing on marketers their need to become more mobile-centric. Another exploding cross-device trend is in the video realm. The majority of digital video viewers are actually going to watch video on their mobile phones this year. Now, all this activity does have some downsides. For instance, the incompatibility of promising cross-device targeting solutions across publishers, platforms, and even devices still leave advertisers frustrated and their efforts are still fragmented. But I've got to say that I feel very confident in expressing that this is going to be a very temporary situation. That's your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services to help their clients quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance is a decision analyst company, 
and would like to make it easy for you to learn more about this terrific service. So, there's a link that you can go directly to. It is www.nuancecoding.com where you will learn a lot of great information about a service that is turning a lot of heads. Have yourself a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.